Welcome back guys and happy new month. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fitted underbust panel dress with gathers. So tap the subscribe button below your screen guys. Tap the like button and let's head right in. <laughs> So guys, for starters, you're going to need your basic bodice block and this is mine. So this is my front basic block and this is my back basic bodice block. So if you don't know how to draft this, check out my introduction to pattern drafting course for beginners where I'm going to be showing you step by step how to draft all the foundational basic blocks for pattern drafting for yourself so that you can also make um clothes that fit your exact body shape so you don't have to always go uh, back and forth with your pattern so you make the patterns foundational basic patterns that fit your own exact body shape and also so that you can be confident in your own pattern cutting skills also so yeah check that out so tap the check out check uh, the description box for more details about how you can enroll in the course so yeah i'm going to be starting with my front basic pattern so we'll be altering this first so i'm going to, to keep the back pattern aside so we'll work with this one first so first things first i'm going to ch be changing the um neckline of my pattern so um i don't want this jewel neckline i'm going to turn it into a kind of um keno neckline so um all i have to do is just come right here and um uh, marking one inch then with your French curve, so I'm just making the neckline wider. So it's your French curve with the neckline, and that's that. So this is my new neckline. So um, at this point right here, I'm going to locate my under bust measurement. So um, just measure your under bust measurement from the top here, from the top of your shoulders here, and then locate it here. By the way, this is my armhole level. This is my waist level, my upper hip level, and my lower hip level. So measure your under bust measurement um, right. So for, um, if you don't know it, you can measure four, four inches or ten centimeters. Four centimeters and ten. Uh, four inches and ten centimeters. They are the same thing. So, but to be exact, it's better you measure your under bust measurement on your body by yourself. But if you don't know it, you can always still just use. Um, just measure four inches or ten centimeters from the ample level down. So this is my under bust right here. So from each dark leg, I'm going to measure out half inch this way and half inch also this way. Now you use your French cuff to draw a curved line from here to your bust point here and you do the same also for this part. And now we are done. So this is our new dart shape. We will no longer need everything in here anymore. So these are our new dart shaping. So yeah pretty much so at the middle part here locate a point right here for me i'm just going to measure two inches um down from my ample level so i measure from here i measure two inches down so yeah i'm going to connect from here to my under bust right here so you can use your french curve. so there's a slight mistake here before you draw the curve remember to um first go in at this part here once you measure this part here you go in by one inch and connect the line so you draw your curve from here to your under bust not to so yeah at the side also what you measured from here down you also measure it from here down so we measured um two inches from here down so i'm going to measure it right here then you also go in by one inch here, or you can go in by one and a half, depends on you. So but for me, I went in by one inch again from here. Then you draw a curved line from here back to this spot. So we have a, um, successfully created the underboss shape that we want. So yeah, pretty much. If not this, remember. So this is our underboss shape. At the middle part here, also you decide where you decide you will mark a point at the middle 
extra easier so that we can shape the hem of our um, body. So for me, I want um, I want it right here, and this is my lower hip line. So I want it right here. So at the side also, you decide um, you locate the point also at the side, and this is for me. So I'm going to draw a curved line from here to, see, to shape this part of our dress. So yeah, this completes it. So now I'm going to um, label all of the parts now because I'm going to cut it all out into panels now. So we are going to label this upper part here A, we'll label this B, we'll label this C. So you get the drift. So yeah, I'm going to cut this out now. So these are my cutout pieces. This is A, this is B, this is C. So yeah, for this C that I'm just going to close the dart. I'm going to close it. Because I don't want to have any dart on that part when I'm sewing. So. And then for this, we are going to leave the dart. So we are going to be sewing this dart on our on our body. So yeah, for this one also, I'm going to close the dart. This dart here, I'm going to close it. So yeah, pretty much we are done with the front of our pattern. So when you are cutting this on your fabric, remember to close this borderline. It's not needed, just the borderline for our pattern. So close this also and close the borderline. And then remember to add your allowances. So you add half inch allowance here, one inch for the side, half inch for the armhole, and then a quarter inch for the neckline. Then you do the same also for this half inch for this part, one inch at the side, half inch below. So you know this is our waistline, so we'll be attaching this to this. So you also do the same also for this half inch here, one inch here, and half inch below. So yeah, that's it. So we'll do the same. Also for the back pattern right here. So this is my back pattern. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do it exactly how I did for the front. So I'm going to um, change the neckline of my back. So at this point here, just measure three inches down. Then you connect to this foot. So yeah, for the back of the back, we are not going to do any of those um, things with it, those um, enlarging of the back. We are not reshaping the back of the back line. So the back here is going to be exactly the same as the looks here. So the only thing I'm just going to do is to come to the middle part here and then I'm going to measure um, two inches down and then I will also come here and measure two inches down just to separate this back also into panels. Then we'll come to the hem also and then we shape in it just like we did for the front. So now we are going to label it. So this part will be known as A, this part B, and this part C. So at this point here, just measure half inch in just so that the zip of your back lies flat so you don't have it bulging. So yeah. Then you connect to your upper hip level. And then you connect from here anywhere around. So yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to cut this out now. So just like I did for the front, I'm going to close this that here, this one. And then I also close this that hole. So yeah, that's all for this piece. So let me just um, label this. I'm going to cut this out of my um, black, plain black fabric. So I'm using crepe. In the picture inspiration, they use um, chiffon. So if you want to use chiffon, you can also use chiffon. But because I don't want my dress to be experienced, so I'm using crepe for mine. So I'll use my plain, plain prep fabric here. And then for this, I'm using Ankara. And for this also, I'm using Ankara. So yeah, do the same also for the front and the belly is exactly the same.
So yeah, these are my cut out pieces, exactly how I explain them. So this is my um, one for my back, that's my crepe for my back, my crepe for my front, my Ankara pieces. This is D panel, this is C panel. So yeah, pretty much. So now for the ruffles underneath, I'm just going to put this to me. For the ruffles down below, I'm just going to come right here and then I'll measure what I have here round this way. So you measure what you have here all the way round. Okay, got the trick. So once you measure it, you can multiply it by two. So whatever you get, you write it down somewhere. So for me here, I have um, 22 inches round this way. So um, you more out, I mean, multiply that 22 by two. That's going to give me 44. So that's going to be the width of my gathers. So this is the width right here. So everything I have here is like um, 44 inches. So the length is going to be decide how long you want your um, dress to be. So that's going to be the length of this. So the length I have here is 13 inches. So I just measure 13 inches. So from here to here is 13 inches. Now because the gathers is going to be two, if you look at the pictures here, the gathers is going to be Two. So I have one for this, and then this is the um, this is the second one. So remember, the one on top has to be shorter than the one below. So yeah. So that's that for the front. So you can decide to make it one inch shorter or two inches shorter. It depends on you. So yeah, that's that for the gather. So you can do the same also for the back, just to get this ruffle or gather piece. So now let's move straight to our sleeve, how to draft our sleeve pattern before we then go move on to sewing. So the sleeve is pretty easy. So this is my previously drafted template and this is what I'm going to be using for my sleeve. So that's why you need to learn how to pattern code so that you can have all these templates um, down you don't always have to start from scratch every time you want to make something so i already used this before and i kept it and now i'm going to use it again so for me to for you to get this just get your basic sleeve block let's assume this is your basic sleeve block this is not an accurate basic sleeve it's just an illustration just an example for me to show you how i got this so yeah all you have to do is to let's assume this is your basic sleeve block this is your bicep line and this is your middle line so all you have to do to get this is to so you cut to the middle line right here and then you slash it open so once you slash it open you pick up a piece of paper and then you place it underneath so you, spray, you can spread it as wide as you want depending on how much fabric you have and that's pretty much how i arrive here so this is it for me so now i'm just going to cut this on my crepe fabric now and then i'll show you the next thing to do so this is shorter i'm going to make it longer if the fabric if my remaining fabric allows for that but if it doesn't so it's going to be this is going to be a short one so yeah let's move right ahead to sewing So to sew this let's start with the front so remember to cut your lining for all of this so you cut your lining for this cut your lining for this. if you want you can also cut the lining for this if you want and if you don't want you can always use a bias binding for the neckline of this if just like i'm going to do for my sew or if you don't want that you can always cut the lining for this so yeah the first thing i'm going to do is to use my bias binding i'm going to use that to turn the neckline So I'm going to use it to turn the neckline of my um, of this part. So I'll turn it in. So it keeps the neckline of my blouse neat and all. So at this point also, I already notched in my dart. That is the dart from here. That's the dart from here on my pattern piece. I already notched it here. So you can see the notched piece right here so i'm going to sew in my dart and then when i'm once i'm done sewing it i'm going to attach this to this at this spot 
right here. Then once I'm done attaching it, I'm also going to attach to this part also, to this one also. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you cut a lining for all of this before you um, attach this to this, remember to attach your lining to the back of your Ankara and also attach your lining to the back of this before you join all of these pieces together. So I'm just going to do all of that now. Then you do the same also for the back piece. So, so I'm just going to do all of that now and watch me sew it. So guys, I've gone right ahead to um, finish everything. So this was the one I just finished sewing. So I also ironed it and also finished the um, overlocked all my rough edges. And then I also went ahead to attach my gathers ruffle to the end of my dress. And this is it. So it's a double. So this is it. So yeah, pretty much. So I also um, did the same for the back and then attached my zipper also to the back so you can see this right here so yeah once you are done doing that you join your shoulders and this is it i already joined my shoulders and then add attached my sleeve right here so this is my sleeve right here so all that's left for me to do now is to sew in a gather stitch which i already did so um, I already um, have my gather stitch sewn here, so all I have to do is now um, pull it by, pull the thread to gather it um, to the same width as the width of my band, so because I'm going to have a band right here. So this is what I'm talking about, this is what it's going to look like. So I already did for this one here, so you can see. So this is my, this is the second sleeve right here. I already attached the band to it. So yeah, this is what it looks it's going to look like at the wrong side, right side, wrong side. So, yeah. So to do that, once you are done gathering this part, just this is my band for the second sleeve. I've not attached it yet. So I'm just going to pick this, just like you attach a waistband. You know how to attach a waistband to your skirt is easy. So you just place this um, on the wrong side like this. This is the right side of my band. So you place it on the wrong side of your sleeve and then you sew by half inch. You make sure you gather this to the same width as the width of your of your band. So yeah, once you are done doing that, you sew by half inch. So once you are done sewing by half inch, you turn to the other side and then you top stitch. You begin to top stitch half inch on top at the other side. So that's how you get this, this one I just, um, I just finished showing you so yeah i'm just going to do all of that now and then i'll show you my completed dress and this completes it guys don't forget to tap the subscribe button tap the like button and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>